chat. It's card sauce. Yet again. Somehow, me opening cards has returned. Now, today I have maybe... I don't know, this might be the best one in a while, or maybe the best one ever? It's possible. I don't have terrorist cards, but I do have... some interesting cards. Like the... oh wait. We gotta get rid of the logo if we're gonna do that. Yeah. I've got, as you can see, I've got Vine Sauce trading cards. Vinny edition, apparently. So I don't know if it's going to reach outside of that very much, but I think it should be, I think it should be pretty cool. I'm excited. I've had these for a little while now. Retro Stu made them. And uh, I can't wait to check them out. Hang on a second. Let me change the focus. There is a new from Chrono Trigger on my cork board, but yeah. Very shiny. Also, the lighting is extremely bright. I have cards for a lot of different things, but these are the ones I'm most excited about. So we're gonna open, I've got four packs of these, and we're gonna open one now and open the last three at the very end. So, Vine Sauce Trading Card Collection from Retro Stew. 22 cards in the booster pack. There's even... Look at this. There's... Look at this. It says here, This fake card pack is a fun little side project I had for the last few weeks. I really hope you like it. I've compiled what I think are my favorite bits from your channel over the years with QR code to scan and open corresponding clips or streams on the Full Sauce channel. I've used a few fan arts sometimes. The credits are included in the corresponding cards. So, from, uh, this is, Retro Stew also sent me the, ah, the French stuff. I almost don't want to open these packs. Like, because they're so cool. But I, we have no choice here. Oh boy, how am I going to do this without damaging the packs? Oh, jeez. Well, I have no choice but to damage the packs, but these are... These are on good, chat, so I have to get scissors. One moment, please. Alright. Scissors. They're needed for this. I, I really hate to do this to these wonderful card packs, but... Alright, so here's here's the back of them. Should probably figure out this light situation, because uh, that's going to be quite bright, isn't it? Let's see, how much of this... Uh, thought I had this figured out earlier, but my god. Okay, that should be good. So yeah, unofficial Vine Sauce trading card collection. And, uh, I haven't seen any of these. So, this is, this is kind of exciting for me. So, we've got CBT. Oh, that's how we're starting. Sin, CBT, chat, my balls. Does it say there? There's information at the bottom, but yeah. FOV. Let me just adjust the FOV real quick. Actually... I feel like this is... Master FOV! Hang on a second. The QR code takes you directly to the bio. Lower the light even more. The links are to the clips. That's awesome. Yeah, no, this is great. I'm really impressed by this. Me? Gangaga. I mean, classic bit. I mean... We got Final Fantasy VII Rebirth in a couple weeks, so this is perfect timing. Sin, squeezed hogs. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Colonel. Character, Duendi. The truth is out there. Now hang on a minute. This Duendi is actually Freddy Freaker, if I'm not mistaken. It 
streamer Vsauce. Oh my god. That's not real. Chad, is this real? That's that's Michael Vsauce. That's not Vinny Vine Sauce. Toad. Uh, Brazil. Come to Brazil, Vinny. The, the chosen picture is excellent. Dancing orange. Vitamin? <laughs> okay, I haven't seen the dancing orange in a while. By the way, is there a lot of, um, is the video quality okay, chat? Is it, like, grainy, or is it... Because I'm seeing some graininess. It is a bit grainy. The lighting is bad. Yeah. Hang on, chat. How, how, uh, this is blurrier. We probably don't want blurrier, right? I don't know how to fix this otherwise. Well. I just dropped the cards in low frame rates. What the fuck happened? Uh. Oh, we're back. Okay. Well, I did drop some cards. I don't know if I'll be able to fix too much of the lighting issues. Let me try something. Maybe there's a way I can just get like, I think that's kind of better. Yeah, that might be a little bit better. All right, I dropped uh, half of the cards, so please be patient. Disable film grain? That would be easy, wouldn't it? Yeah, I thought I had this all tested, but it didn't didn't quite fix the problem I was having. So uh, please bear with me. It was better before. You sure about that? What do you think? Looks like dither. Alright. Dancing orange germa. Creepy tall man. Okay. Why are you wearing gloves? These are my card gloves. Squeezed hogs again? Ah, the French champagne has always been celebrated for its excellence. Gray Leno forced me- oh, come on. No, he's- he's not- he's great. He's gray, and he's great, and he's Leno. Terminal 7. It's all in your head, Luigi. That's the- from the Terminal 7 mod, it's got Luigi from that mod. It's- Get the cock Yoshi. Don't look up the name on Google. Oh my god. Uh. Now, hang on one more second here. Trying something. Force the interlace. Let me try that. No, that's not working either. Try input. Yeah, I don't know, Chad. I'm sorry. I'm having... I wish I could... I think the last card sauce looked better. It's the same camera. DMCA. Incident. The true and only jump scare. Classic bit egg-like. The good old days. <laughs> Plunger Birdo. Let's not act unwise, shall we? Sans Undertale. Oh god fucking damn it. Hang on, what does it say at the bottom there? It says... Ob... Seriously, play Undertale, Vinny. It's good. Eat you too? Y you're doing that too? Okay. Alright, fair enough. Never said it wasn't. Never said it wasn't, ever! Uh, so <laughs> classic bit Sunday stream. You never know what to expect. Oh, is that when I did Sunday stream within Sunday stream within Sunday stream? 
the cap now discontinued. Oh, these cards do not show up well on the camera. Corruption. Manual blast. Oh, the card is corrupted too. And meet. Incognito mode again. Poor meat. Well, at least meat got a hollow card. Yeah, these are incredible. These are actually really, really cool. Uh, color me impressed. What I'm not impressed by is the camera quality and the lighting still. So I don't know what to do there, and I'm kind of upset because I had this looking even better. Is the lens clean? Yeah. Oh my god. What the fuck happened here? Uh, card sauce will continue in a moment. I'm gonna figure something out real quick. That is very, very strange, that. Yeah, I think it's clean. Let me just try real quick to clean the lens. I don't think anything's... ...changed since last time. And the lens is, is clean. I just tried again, it's fine. Okay, we're just gonna roll with it, chat. I'm sorry to say, whatever's going on here is something that I can't really see myself troubleshooting live for a particularly long time. So if it's a little grainy, that's just gonna be how it is. All right, um, this may be better, I'm not sure. So yeah, so these cards are really cool. There's still three packs. Oh wait, there's still four boosters for Vine Sauce cards. So we could probably open one more for now, and then we'll do the rest later. So you know what? These are so good. We'll just bookend this stream with uh, the Vine Sauce cards. So, so here's another one. Cursed Sonic. Okay, we gotta change the focal point now. I thought I did that. Technology issues. There we go. So maybe, maybe here, we'll, we'll zoom it in, try to get it there. That might be a bit better. So we got Cursed Sonic. Yeah, all right, looking good. That's from, what, Sonic Dreams Collection? 8-Bit Vinny. 8-Bits Vinny. <laughs> Extra Crust. Awful mobile ad. The nightmare is almost over, chat. Okay, hang on. We're, we're also, you know what? This is a problem I've been having. I, I know you don't want to hear this anymore. Let me, let me get rid of the white belt. Uh. Probably just want to see the cards, but I've been having an issue with this camera anyway. I think I'm going to buy a new one. I think I'm going to buy a new one, chat. That way I can complain less. Awful mobile ad. The nightmare is almost over, chat. Power. It's so... checkerboarded. Turn off the awful cold light. It's, it's warm. See? Like, not that cold. Oh, man. It's vampire survivors. Smile ghost. Oh, no. Cheap jump scare. There's like a... I know there's a grainy distortion. This is actually really kind of 
bumming me out from the whole segment right now, chat. Station sharpness. Maybe if I sharpen the camera a little bit. I have no further control over the cards. It's really not bad. Okay. Well, cheap jump scare. Hoot wireless. Do I have the hoot wireless near? Can I press the button? From here. Oh wow, let's got it. Red dildo. Too many dick jokes in this deck. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh creepy pasta, the end. You fucking idiot, as is what it should say. Warbly voice. Binny do the funny voice. You know what? There's a clip there if you want it. Cursed pizza. Abomination. It's just, that's just beans. That's beans. You may have to turn up your ISO really hard where your aperture exposure is low, causing graininess. Well, I was told there was too much. There's not enough light, and then there was too much light. So, I don't know. I've, I've given up. Uh, goon Cave. Welcome to my Goon Cave. I can barely even see what the Goon Cave is. Hang on. Oh, it's the House Flipper Goon Cave. Danny DeVito. He's going to get real weird with it. Trash. We're the trash men. <laughs> this fucking picture. Realistic Pikachu. Peak of a career. Sexy bee. Chat, don't get horny for the bee. That's something I've said probably at least four times too many in my life. That's not something I don't think any human needs to say, but I've said it like at least four or five times. V-dub. Now that's a real streamer. Cook oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Cookies bustle. No, we can't say that. Cookies a bustle. News Vinny. Witch.tv slash vine sauce. Very flattering image of me. Cursed Vinny when AI was still a good thing. I mean, you know. When AI was worse, it was better. Twitch ban. Like a champ. God damn it. This is really recent, too. One pickle is the limit. <laughs> oh, no. Vine shroom. Fungus. That's cool. Yeah, so there you go. There's another pack. That's- that's- I love this shit. This is really good. Alright. Really good retro stew so far. We're gonna have, um... Oh god. We're gonna have more of those soon. At the end of this card sauce, we will have more. Um, so, until then, though, I have a bunch of random stuff from my collection of over 100 packs of cards that I still have, including Pokemon Go bootleg cards that I forgot I even had. Like, clearly very fake cards. I also have a set of cards from uh, Brute Tigrex that they sent, which includes Tony Soprano cards. But yeah, it's these fucking terrible cards. So I'll show you. It's, it, this is the back. You've got, yeah, Raticate. They all have the same exact glow to them. Guat. Wait, Guat? That's Zubat. What, what do you mean, Guat? 
Chat. This isn't the cat. What is that? Why is it called Goat? Oh, Golbat. Yes, these are just screenshots of Pokemon Go from the phone. I think that's someone's custom name for a Golbat. So, Duo. I mean, you can even see the. U <laughs> like, really? Th these are. These are cards that people are charging money for. You can see, yeah, you can even see the edit button. I, Ivy Sao L. Zubat. Gyarados. And that's it. Wow, that's something. Hang on a minute, chat. We, we've got to do... We've got to do something here. Okay. We're going to sleeve Guat. Perfect. Okay. Um, going through, of course, I have more dinosaurs attacked. Because these are, are great. And again, I have just so many of this, like, just random collection of cards that people have sent or that I've found. Oh. There's the... The gum that gives you mold. The beach that gives you mold. Triceratops. It's got, like, look at the sticker crust. You can actually see the, like, the, the gum. Uh, I think that's the gum crust. Never mind. Also, I think I need to- this table's a little vibrationally right now, so I'm gonna fix that. Entombed. Holy shit. Oh my- is that person in the dinosaur? If you want to read about it, here's the whole story. But, yeah, that's- that's pretty good stuff. Gnarly, I would say. Blue water, savage death. Italy under siege. I think I've shown this one before. This is a really good one. And, uh, rebuilding our world. <laughs> Why is that dinosaur in the back so fucking huge? And so the human race survives. We pick ourselves out of the rubble of a ravaged world and look towards tomorrow with renewed hope. Saurian was right. Human beings do have souls. <laughs> How do they know that? This is our salvation. How ironic. Through time scan, Elias and I hope to learn why the dinosaurs were wiped out of existence 65 million years ago. Well, we finally discover what annihilated them. We did. End of story. It's interesting that I somehow have found the end of the story. Pokemon, Gotta gross him out. I've opened these packs before. These are also pretty fun because they are, uh, I think just, yeah, late 90s parodies of Pokemon, so. Botulism. This Pokemon makes others lose their lunch with its rancid contents. Mean skill, Abomination 10. Jigglybutt. This Pokemon's gelatinous butt jiggles and squa squashes its enemies. Magma. This Pokemon creates explosions of secretions which stun others. It looks like a condom volcano. That's kind of weird. Gas Passer. With bursts of atomic gas, other Pokemon are left with their eyes burning. No, this Pokemon can get any more disgusting. No Pokemon can get any more disgusting than this one. This is just yuck. Chow down. Someone said in before Nintendo cease and desists 30 year old cards. I mean, this is like, come on. Is this a PAL? I'm pretty sure PAL World borrowed this design. I'm not I'm not sure. It 
Let's see, we'll go through and find more weird ones, and then I'll get to Brute Tigrex's pack. And then I actually have some, uh... I've got some real Pokemon cards. Oh, we gotta get this out of the way. I, I don't ever want to see this again. Mega Metal. Featuring Bon Jovi, Skid Row, Iron Maiden, Slaughter, Judas Priest, Robert Plant, L.A. Guns, Billy Squire, and many more. Yeah, I think of Mega Metal when I think Bon Jovi, Robert Plant, and Billy Squire. Also, L.A. Guns is Guns N' Roses, but the first half of it. Listen, I love Robert Plant, like, in Zeppelin, and, uh... His solo career's got some songs, but it's it, some good so songs, but it's not metal. So here's uh, Billy Squire. God, what was that embarrassing video from Billy Squire? Like, I like his music, but he had one horrendously embarrassing music video. His song is, uh, Lonely is the night when you find yourself alone. Rock me tonight. Something like that. Yeah, that's a good one, but then he had a video where he's just, like, gyrating on pink satin, and it actually ruined his career. Blass Elias? Blass won a scholarship to the University of Texas and entered its pre-med program, however, drumming soon got in the way. I had my drum set in my dorm room. I drove everyone crazy. I almost got kicked out. The kids didn't understand me. He joined a band called Black Sheep. Never heard of that band. Jan Cunimund? A lot of what we write about is what we see around us, such as drugs and sex on the streets of Hollywood. There's sex in on the streets of Hollywood? Or the problems with the gangs? We also address a variety of issues from a definite woman's point of view. For example, Hard 16 is all about trials and tribulations of being a woman in a macho world. I mean, I'm sh I don't even know who this is, but like... I don't know if metal is the right way to deliver this kind of stuff, but, you know, you go. Sebastian Bach. Oh, this guy was like a reality TV guy. Oh, he was in a band, too. No, he was in Skid Row, but, I mean, I know him more from being on the panel of MTV shows for years. Here's Robert Plant. Manic Nirvana was co-produced by Robert Plant and Phil Johnstone. I tried to create something sonically that is seductive. <laughs> something that feels like just before our first, the first touch. You know that you've got the facility to use high-tech equipment, but at the same time you've got to ride the wild beat. I want to keep that raunchy, edgy side. Okay, Robert. Man, whatever you say. Also, I realized something. These are the backs of the cards. This is what I should be showing you guys. Just so you can see the good stuff here. So now, now, now we're in business. There's Skid Row. There's Rubber Plant. Could they have chosen a better picture for him? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe there's a better picture. Uh, Judas Priest. Glenn Tipton. We'll just go through these kind of quick. Bon Jovi, I believe that's Richie Sambora. Again, you can't get more metal than Bon Jovi. I mean, they were heavier. Their guitars were a little heavier, but... Iron Maiden. Nuclear Assault. Never heard of these guys. But that guy... If he was born 20 years later, he'd be doing raids and WoW still right now. Guaranteed. Skid Row. Guitar player Snake. Wait, that's his name, Snake? Okay. King Diamond. Looks like a wrestler. Is this Sting, the wrestler? Songs on the eye are based on a necklace with an eye pendant owned by King Diamond. If on the first night of May you look into the eye of the necklace, you'll go back in time to the French Inquisition and experience all the pain that took place 
during those 220 years. I'm sorry, what the fuck are you talking about? When you come back, it's the second day of May. You are rewarded for your pain with a benefit. The necklace lets you see what's, what other people are thinking, says Diamond. You can see their actions, though you may be very far away from them. Is that... Chad, is this real? I don't know what that guy's talking about, but he's discovered some kind of time travel device. LA Guns. Kelly Nichols. Oh, this is their bassist. What was going on here? There's an accident? Oh, motorcycle accident. Well, again, that later become uh, became Guns N' Roses, so... Interesting cards there. I, I'm pretty sure we've opened a pack of those at some point, but I didn't know about the necklace that took you to the French Inquisition. The Spanish Inquisition, sorry. <laughs> There wasn't a French Inquisition, was there? I don't know my history all that well. We've opened plenty of these cards, and I have way too many of them, but I figured we would just go through real quick. The Kupahari Tunnel. Dancing the Dactyl. Mario was given Dactyl. Give Dactyl. The Ventilation Shaft. Luigi, how many times do I gotta tell you? It's not that kind of shaft. Lena becomes energized. The classic Mario character, Lena. We all know. Koopa gets his. That's a good face Dennis Hopper is making. That's, that's... <laughs> Dennis Hopper when he saw the reviews for the movie. <laughs> On opening night. Weaponry. The classic Mario Brothers weaponry. Mysterious woman. That's the, I think, Daisy's mom. And there you go, there's Daisy. I, I still love the movie. I know it's a turd, but I, I really enjoy it. I watch it once in a while, and I just have a great time watching it, because it's so stupid. Gremlins 2, the new batch. Here we grow again. Wait, is that... What's this splort? Well, I love this movie. Oh no, it's gum. Oh god. This movie is amazing. Look at that. Look at that coloration on that gum. What I like about this movie is that it's a really good, like, it kind of, it, it's more meta than you would expect from a Gremlins film, and uh, it's just really fun. It's like Joe Dante didn't give a single fuck. The gremlins have arrived. I'm pretty sure Red Letter Media has one of these guys. Metamorphosis. $10 if you eat it. Yeah, we did that bit already. Trust me, you don't want me to eat it. It's just it, me making... I just do that. It tastes like moldy, rancid cardboard. And you can't eat it. It's just, like, hard. It, it turns to powder. Attacked from on high. Isn't it? Is that Dick Miller? Yeah, it is. This is Dick Miller. A hello from Gizmo. Having a gremlin ball. Love that gremlin in the suit. Daffy the Mogwai. Billy Paltzer. He's coming for you. Brainy reflections. Clamp discovers Billy. <laughs> okay, very, again, very cheap, basic cards designed to sell the product because it's just pictures of the movie. 
but it's a great movie. I would recommend it. The Alien World of Wayne Barlow. Chat, I love Wayne Barlow. I love his art so much. And this music is perfectly timed. So, yes, that's a green meat. You're not wrong. People have sent me Wayne, Mar um, Wayne Barlow's art saying, Vinny, why does this guy draw meat? These are cards from 1994. And the cards are stuck to each other because the card stock is, is weird. It's like shiny. So. Eggplant thing. Just some lore too. Warrior alien. Wayne Barlow divulges this alien society is broken into many warring factions and clans. Luke? The Luke Skywalker? Wayne Barlow says of this painting a very James Bond influenced cover. Shaken but not lasered. Here's a waste of a card with a checklist of other cards and oh boy a double of that same shitty collector checklist card <laughs> twice man I love this weird bird alien thing this thing's fucked up. Weird. It's, uh, this Falkenberg of mercenary fame. Okay. I was hoping I would get meat. We didn't get meat. The thing that looks like meat, but that's okay. This guy's lighting a cigarette with a Fucking laser gun. Never in too tight a spot for it. Cheroot. Huh? And just dinosaurs. In this painting from the forthcoming Dinosaur ABC book by Wayne Barlow from Scholastic Books, the good mother reptile defends her young against the marauding Quetzalcoatlus. Interesting. Cool art, though. I really like his aliens. They're, they're strange. And uh, very entertaining. Bobby! Bob Burger! Uh, trading cards in a wax package. 2017. You don't see a lot... Oh, Sub Pop. You don't see a lot of um, wax card um, packaging these days. But these are, they're going for a classic appeal here. Bob. Bob, Bob Belcher. Uh, I made the Borglar. And I, uh. Yeah, this camera is not handling things particularly well, is it? It's like red. It doesn't like the color red. Tina Belcher. Jean Belcher. Louise Belcher. <laughs> and Teddy the Handyman. All right, Bobby, I'm telling you, Bob, we got to get the, the new Berg burgers. The, the new burgers here at that smash burger. Smash them. I need to, I, Bobby, I heard you need to smash them. I don't know what you're talking about. Just smash them, Bobby. They taste better if you smash them. And that's a plot of a Bob Burger episode right there, probably. I'm pretty sure that's the whole family, so is there... Like, what else do you... Is that the whole collection of cards? That might be it. Chat, once again... 
we have superstars. It, this is a tradition in and of itself. I'm, I'm running out of these packs, though. I don't know how many more I have left. But almost every card sauce, I've had a pack of these, and I've tried to win that rock and roll trip to London. I don't know how many of these cards are left. Like, we've seen pretty much all of these cards. Like, we've seen, yes, Jimmy Page. We've, we've seen him. We've seen Bob Marley, I think. If not, well, there's Bob Marley. It said Rasta Prophet. Joe Satriani. Hunters and Collectors. I've never heard of this band. Belinda Carlisle? Huh? George Harrison was on the record. Okay. Reunited with the Go-Go's. Oh, the Go-Go's. Okay. Tone Lock. I love the B-Boy pose. Not enough people do that these days. We need more B-Boy poses. First Los Angeles-based rap artist to break the top 40 on Billboard's pop chart. Album Locked After Dark. <laughs> it's the guy with the raspy voice. I probably have heard the music. Hoodoo Gurus. No fucking idea who these guys are. Again, I've said this plenty of times, but the musical landscape changed so, like, vastly in the next two years that a lot of bands just, like, evaporated immediately. But this, these are cards from, like, 1990. Uh, Dread... Dread Zeppelin... I believe this is, um... Led Zeppelin clone bands are nothing new, but Zepp Mania has taken a decidedly humorous new turn. Rolling Stone Magazine commented, The band consists of five reggae musicians and an Elvis impersonator named Tortelvis and performs mostly Led Zeppelin favorite... Favorites, what? Vinny ass on cover? Oh yeah, there's... <laughs> this dude's got his ass out. All right. Pretty Boy Floyd? I have heard of Pretty Boy Floyd. Extreme. Pretty sure we've got this card before, but yeah, this was what you had to look like and what your band had to look like if you wanted to make it in the 80s. Not exclusively so, but it was it was like if you wanted to, to show that you were like really good at music, that's how you had to look. All right, it's time, chat. One more time. I don't know how many more of these cards I have left, but I don't have many chances left to win this rock and roll trip to London. Fuck. Sorry, try again. Chad, I just won a rock and roll trip to London. I'm pretty sure Sorry Try Again is just uh, Gaelic, and if you say it fast enough, that means you win a trip to London. Here's another um, Nintendo game pack with uh, top secret tips. Again, I have a really large amount of these, and I'm going to keep many of them unopened. And I'm pretty sure we've seen everything from these, too, but if we haven't... Here's Link fighting a, tricer uh, uh, just a dinosaur. What is that? Fantasy dinosaur? That's the Dongo, but it just looks like regular dinosaur. Here's a Super Mario Bros. 2 card. By the way, these don't scratch off anymore. I guess that's Link fighting an Octorok. Let me just make sure they don't scratch off. Let me try the Mario 2. Nope. If you scratch those spots off, you're taking card with it. Look. So no, that's that's not happening. Low par? The fuck is low par? 
<laughs> Who is this guy? That's a sticker, yeah. I don't know who Lopar is. It says here, Trade West Inc. licensed from American Technos. Land of Punk and Rock? Double dra Is it Double Dragon? I don't know. Who who's this guy? Legend of Zelda. Oh, they made one of those games back in the day, yeah. It's Zelda. From Zelda. Alright, baby. It's Austin Powers time. Collectible card game. The Spy Who Shagged Me, specifically. The second film. I, you know, everything got cards. And I, I think I've opened some of these, too, even. But Yellow Submarine? Oh, this is an actual, like, trading card game. Fra... Frau Farbicina. Menage a trois. There he is. There's Austin himself. The cards have mojo. You know the classic character Rod? The hot, salty nuts vendor? You gotta be so... Like... When, you, when you're a fan of Austin Powers, if you get this card, you gotta be real happy. Frickin' Bone. Frickin' Bone! Dr. Evil's secret volcano lair. It's just Austin massaging Heather Graham. Very interesting time. Yeah. Austin Powers, man. We're going to continue in just a moment. Hang on a second here. Uh, again, I have a whole bunch of cards from Brute Tigrex, but I also have actual Pokemon cards. I have the I bought an ETB just for this. Because I thought it would recapture some of the magic of Shining Fates. And um I don't think it will. The values of these cards are nowhere near where they used to be. No one cares anymore. <laughs> but um, I tried to buy them, and true story, I typed Paldean Fates, and um, I got Paula Dean Fates. I think there's a Charizard in this pack, or not this pack, but in this set, so that's kind of what I'm hoping for. If I get a Charizard, I'll be happy. If not, then... I guess I'll just never buy another Pokemon card ever. Uh, Ralts. Toad School. Clobopus. Frigibax. Electric Generator. Swoobat. I'm sorry, who are these Pokemon? Who's Electric Generator? Gengar? I know that one. Uh, Pinaco? This is a, a hollow of... Well, not a hollow, but it's like foil. Um, Zatu. And... Magmortar. So yeah, no, no Charizard. Chat, I'm very upset. I didn't get a Charizard. We'll have to open another one. I'll, I'll just be, like, randomly sprinkling in Pokemon cards throughout this thing while we try to get that Charizard. So that I can... Hold on to it until it's worth even less money. Uh, Scraggy. Flittle. Whooper. I don't know who some of these are. And I've played Pokemon Violet, and I still don't know who these cards are. Um, Camerupt. Technical Machine Crisis Punch. Graplocked. Scraggy. Clobopus, Executor, and Basic Water Energy. Hmm. Really good value so far I've, I've gotten out of these cards. So this is, um... What they do with these sets are they're like specialty sets. So 
This is, um, the Shining Fate set is what got me into the cards all those years ago. And I've since lost a lot of my interest, but I figured for all time's sake, I would try this. They have, they're shinies. Chat, they're supposed to be, they're shinies. Chimicho, Ghastly. So I haven't seen any shinies. Charmeleon, how much is this dude worth? Oink, oink alone. Camerupt. Okay, there we go. There's one. It's the Oricorio. The shiny. So you can see that's that's the that's the appeal. And again, they make these cards look insanely nice so that you get really addicted to buying them because they're so nice looking. Oh, I got a full art too of uh, Paw Me. Good pack. What's a Paw Me? And then, um, Amarage, Amarouge, I'm probably saying these wrong, and Basic Energy. And I still don't know who all the Pokemans are, chat. I really don't. I wish I did. You know what? I don't. I know who some of the pals are. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, the, that bubble burst, the Pokemon card thing, like the big collecting thing during COVID was like, people were just finding anything possible that they could scalp that they could collect and resell and flip and it was just like it was insane like people rushing to get baseball cards waiting online before a fucking target opened so you could buy up all the stock so all right well we got two two decent cards speaking of baseball cards you know what i don't think i've ever opened baseball cards on a card sauce and I used to when I was a kid I opened many many packs of baseball cards I didn't even watch baseball but I had a huge collection of sport card and I have for some reason triple play I think this is from 2012 I don't know why I have this I don't know if someone bought me like a pack of cards like a bunch of cards and then this was just included but Oh, okay, this is kind of weird. Uh, chat, what's going on here? Like, art? Strasbourg? GTA card art? It kind of looks like it. Power hitter, peel and stick. Well, a lot of art there on that card. Brett Wallace looks just like him. Ugh. Paul Konerko? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with these cards? I don't know. This whole set must be just, yeah, just drawn. Starlin Castro. That face. It's an amazing face. And what do you what is your face? Juan Longoria, third base Tampa Bay. Yeah, I don't know who any of these people are, but I guess that's why this pack was included. Because of the art. That's fine. Huh. Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Chat, you know what this means. It is possible there will be a Trump scare in this pack of cards. Alright, first card is... Oh, a card playmat. Wait, oh here. The Mysterious Pigeon Lady. I used to not understand the Pigeon Lady and now I get the appeal. Hot-headed Harry. So it's Joe Pesci with his head on fire. Very nice card. Oh, Christmas tree. Kevin makes his way to the famous Christmas tree in Rockefeller Center. Christmas Eve. E uh, Harry and Marv are under arrest and Kevin is tired of being himself. Just... Oh. A paradise of toys. It's, um... 
Yeah. That's the toy store scene. A suspicious staff. There's um, the Harry Potter lady. There's Tim Curry and Rob Schneider. <laughs> Tim Curry had such a small part in that movie, but he was awesome. He was always awesome. Casing the joint. Together again. Spoilers. Get that kid. Stolen credit card. And Fish and Freedom. Yep. All right. Well, those are the. Home Alone cards. I was hoping for the hollow Trump. But unfortunately, yeah. None of that. Let's see. Do we have anything else interesting? I got something here for Lumpy Touch. I don't know if Lumpy's here, but I got something kind of fun. Garfield. To tie in with the fucking amazing Garfield movie. Starring Bill Murray, which bought him a yacht. Oh. Frisky business. <laughs> That's a hell of a first card to pull. In Garfield movie, Garfield is the king of the cul-de-sac, but his life literally goes to the dogs when new pet Odie comes into the house. Speaking of, here's, um, Odie. It's a sticker. Here's Lyman? Chat, what the fuck is wrong with his face? It looks like he's got, like, a, a like a small toad face, and, like, a, a shit beard. Chat, I don't understand. It's, it's a mustache? I don't, where's his mouth, then? I don't I don't like this. I don't like it. My brain can't stop seeing that little thing as a as a mouth. Garfield on diets. The diet is too little of a good thing. Cat Kong. Creepy classics. Huh. All right. Thanks Garfield. I have Brute Tigrex's cards now. Let's see what these are. These should be fun. Hey, Vinny, here's some trading cards. I got some... Oh, we got some interesting ones here. So, good selection. And, of course, Ultraman and Godzilla, because, of course... <laughs> should be fun. And there's Chrono Trigger cards, too. Which, I have some already that I was sent, and they're amazing. So, I don't know if these are going to be the same, but the, the fact that I'm now streaming Chrono Trigger and I'm getting to open Chrono Trigger cards is pretty cool. So, we're going to start with, um, from this collection, The Sopranos. Now, I have opened Sopranos cards before, and I have a holographic Tony Soprano. So, that is pretty much, like, life complete. Oh, shit, I got another one! Oh, wait, they're all holographic. The moments of good. There he is, there's Tony. Artie Bucco. Look at that guy, huh? <laughs> the chef. Make peace or war! Uncle Joe! What's the little? Hi, Tony, we got these Pokemon cards we're trying to flip. Livia Soprano. Oh, man. Holographic Livia Soprano. That's uh, I've been trying to get that card my whole life. Oh Lord. Sit down with Hesh. Whistle. A second family. Silvio, Pauly, Christopher, Pony. Johnny Sack. Sacramoni. That's the, the New York guy. Good cards. Very good cards. However, I also have Rad Dudes. Never seen these cards before. 
1990. All right. Don't know what a rad dude card is. Um, oh wait, maybe we have. This is vaguely familiar, but I don't. I don't know. Another useless checklist card. You know, useless for our purposes. Um, Wild Waylon and Willy. See, this looks familiar to me. What are they doing? They're, they're taking a picture of someone on the toilet? That's wild. Teasing baby. Wait, these dudes are rad? This guy's a fucking asshole! Holy shit, Tone, you gotta look at this guy! I, I can't believe what I'm looking at right now because this... <laughs> I think they're they're like framing this car like this dude's really cool and he's just like teasing a baby who wants its milk. Pigging out Owen. Oh, these cards are repulsive. Why did that baby have the face of a grown man? I, I don't know. Cherry bomb dudes? Oh, they're putting cherry bombs in the toilet. This guy's wearing fucking flip-flops. <laughs> The other guy's face is gormless. I, this is... Wow, who, whose idea was this? Bicep Brothers. They're just arm wrestling, but one dude's stronger. Okay. Kneeboard Nick. Uh. He's in Toby again. Fucking guy. I don't want this guy anymore. Wait a minute. Another pigging out Owen again? Cherry Bomb dudes. It's the same fucking cards in the same order. There's no quality control in these cards. It's Bicep Brothers again. That's such fucking bullshit. Yo, this... <laughs> this is the worst set of cards. It's so bad. <laughs> in the same order, it's the same shitty cards. Just so you can see, yeah, yeah, look, doubles. Oh my god. I need to get eBay to give me a refund. Yeah, ser seriously, tell them, tell them you want the refund. I don't want it, you can have it. Awful cards. Get your 25 cents back. Baby? Great new adventure movie. This is wrapped in, like, extra plastic. Oh, boy. I think I see why. Oh, my God. Chat, it's like a loaded diaper. Fuck. Hang on a second here. All right. Bubble wrap. I got bubble wrap. Hang on. Watch this. There's like mold powder. No wonder it was wrapped up. <sighs> Land of Mystery. Baby? What is this movie? I've never heard of this movie. Setting Africa, land of modern cities and small native villages where the past and present merge and mysterious legends persist through the centuries. What are you talking about? The Cave of Bats. Is that the room font? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh god, it is. Check the O's. Oh my lord. Check the R on Pursuit. <laughs> Yo. 
maybe it's a little weird that I recognize that so quickly. I, I probably shouldn't know these things. Um, anyway, Cave of Bats. I guess it's just like... Real... Real dinosaurs. Hot Pursuit. I see like... Puppets and animatronics. Who's in this movie? Are these just like random like actors they found in like a casting agency is there anyone of note oh wait that might be Sean Young freeing mama that looks like Sean Young from <laughs> wow that should be her headshot like seriously after <laughs> after <laughs> After this movie came out, she should have, uh, like, sent this to all of the prospecting movie uh, directors and, and producers that wanted to hire her. Just this picture <laughs> with the dinosaur <laughs> as her headshot. It is Sean Young, by the way. Yeah, it's just called Baby. It's a 1985 movie. I've never heard of it. And I feel like I, w I mean, I was born that year, but I feel like I would have heard of this film. Three's a crowd. Wait a minute. What? In the room font? Shut up. That's amazing. That's amazing. Awesome sight. Sorry, wrong mama. Never heard of the review font? No. I mean, I've seen the font before, but I didn't know it had a, uh, I didn't know that's what it was called. Kvyat's plan and under attack. All right, so I'm assuming there's dinosaurs in Africa and Sean Young and some dude have to uh, find them and, and sa save them or save people from them. It's one of those two things. I don't know what it is. But I'm fine going back to for, like forgetting that this movie or not knowing that this movie ever existed. I don't. I don't need to know more about the film. I'm fine with that. You just throw that out because there was like toxic dust. Tomb Raider, which good timing because the remaster is out or is coming out, and I feel like. I may eventually play that for, like, a little bit, just to see what it's all about. But, uh, we did get... That is a... Kind of a cool card, actually, but it's, it's like, overwhelming? Secret move to rope maneuver. Maneuver. I mean, it's the, the hollow foil thing that they're doing here is actually really cool, but it's just a lot. I like it, though, I think. Dark. Oh, I think this is a um, trading card game. It's a TCG spike trap. Yeah. Push. Triggered door. Collapsing exit. And concentration. Yeah, didn't know these existed, but getting this card was worth it. It's kind of cool. I'll go ahead and add that to, uh, I'll throw that in a sleeve. Why not? All right. So next is Frankenstein trading cards. And this is not planned, but Castlevania music is happening. Dr. Frankenstein Collapses. I think it's like from a variety of Frankenstein movies. Universal Studios classic horror. Yeah, I believe this is the, um, what's his name? Frankenstein. I forget the dude's name. Oh, man. Boris Karlov. Final Remorse. 
The search begins. Yeah, you can really just make trading cards out of everything. Peak of the storm. A mourning father. Trapped. <laughs> I know my camera is not great for this. Oh, and a checklist, of course. This is the day of checklists. But um, these, it's hard to tell what's going on in these cards anyway. But, you know, for fucking fans of the... Remember the, the cool uh, Universal Dark Universe they were trying to launch that failed miserably? That was cool. Breaking Bad cards. Look for randomly inserted wardrobe and autograph cards. We could get a Mike Ehrman Trout autograph right now. Right now, Walter! Put your cards away, Walter. Wow, the first card, and already, there he is, there's Finger. That's a great face, too, for him. Why does she look plastic? Listening in on Hank. Are, it would, were they smoothed? Oh, that's just the, I think that's the camera looking pretty terrible. And there's Jessup. They kidnap Lydia and force her to call Hank. Overworked and underappreciated. So this is uh, season one, Walter. Mr. Chips. Lily of the Valley. Love that skull on there, very subtle. Walt blames Gus for poisoning Andreas. Oh, but I don't want to spoil the show for those who haven't seen it. Challenging the cartel. There's Gus, and there's Finger again. Just, yeah. Moments from various episodes. And then, like, actually just the plot of the show. Uh, no autograph, but we did get that face, which I think would be a really good face. You know when people smear the faces, like, so that, like, they become like a snake? I feel like you could smear that, like that, and it would look awesome. Like, like a, like a Mike Ehrman Trout worm. Like, Mike Worman Trout. Battle Spirits? Booster Pack. So this this is Godzilla. So this this is already a little bit shiny. I I can't read this, but I'm sure it's cool. The art is cool. So I guess is this the Godzilla Extended Universe? I don't know, like, is it just a vial of... I think that's a vial of poison. Or healing fluids. These are kind of cool. A lot of dinosaurs today, chat. Have you noticed that? The card sauce today has been very dinosaur-focused. I guess Pokemon can be dinosaurs, too. If you really, like, try to stretch it a little bit. Got that little fa I love this guy. Is that Baby Godzilla? What's his name? Georgie? I like him. Whoa. Godzuki. Wasn't Godzuki part of some show? I remember someone named Godzuki. It wasn't a Scooby Doo thing, was it? These cards are really, really high quality. Like, they're just really well-made cards. And I, I just gotta... Oh, man, you're gonna love this next one. 
look at this. Wow. That is something. This card is very textured. And I like this camera is not doing it justice. That's so cool. That's Shin Godzilla. What about Achilles heel? Godzilla. Oh, I like it a lot, so I'm going to sleeve that. That's a good card. For those just joining, we haven't opened all the custom Vine Sauce cards. And yes, that's exactly what I have. So expect more of these soon. That'll be the end of the card sauce for tonight. So here's another set of Godzilla cards. One more pack of these. These are, again, these are really good. The cardstock is really good. They all have some kind of foil thing or ref reflectiveness going on. Lavos? Who's this little fella? I don't know these fellas, but again, they're, they're just cool. Space Godzilla? How many Godzillas are there? Oh shit, look at this one. Another crazy card. That is also highly textured. This is Destroya? Ah. Well, once again, really high quality looking card. I don't know what it's trying to say at the bottom there, but I'm sure the moves are fantastic. It looks like a semi-complicated TCG. And when your life is complicated, you must... Simpson. Eight dynamic cards and one crummy sticker. This Simpson card pack is from 1990, so this is early Simpson. And once again, wax paper. I will not trade pants with others. Go for it, dude. That looks very non-standard. I'm no supervising technician. I'm a technical super... I can't do a Homer vote. Marge! Where does... What does Marge hide in her hair? Family of happy little elves, a bowling ball, money jar, nest of spiders. It's money. Literally... Okay, so the phrase non-standard comes from the art that they were doing in the early seasons. That there, There's now like... There's a Simpsons Bible of stuff that they are not really supposed to do. And I believe this face would be considered illegal. I believe this is an illegal Simpson face at this point in time. I'm down, boy. Just a nightmare. The Sim. Anybody seen Maggie? <laughs> Can't wait to see the happy little elves grow up, man. The crappy little elves are for babies. Also looking quite scummy. Suck, 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 suck. I didn't do it. Nobody saw me do it. You can't prove anything. For the last time, I'm the parent and you're the children. A another excellent Homer face. Look, Homer, clean as a whistle. Wow, this season of The Simpsons had some very interesting, very interesting art. <laughs> oh, man. It's just so jarring when you, you know, you see how Simpsons look these days. You go back and then they look like that. I have Ultraman cards, but before we do that, we're going to open more Paula Dean. So, we already got two, so again, it's an ETB's worth, that's ten, but we got two decent Paula Deans, so we're going to find out if there's anything else, maybe a Charizard, possibly, everyone wants the Charizard, every, every fucking set that has a Charizard, the Charizard becomes a chase card, to the point where people are actually bored of the Charizard now. Nimona's backpack, Kilowattrel, 
nest ball numel. Not two. And whoa, what, what do we got here? Whoa, 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 Squawkabilly EX. That's fine. Again, this set just came out like a couple weeks ago, I believe. So it's got like little stars. It's kind of nice. Squawkabilly is um like a like a rockabilly bird. So I guess that's kind of cool, like Buddy Holly, but bird. Okay. So we got that. I'm adding that to the collection of cards that are in sleeves. We'll do another Paula Dean Fate. You made the finger snake? I'll have to check that out later. Paula Dean student. Fido. Haunter. Not to. Moonlit Hill. Whoa, I see something amazing. Oh my god, chat. Oh, oh my god, chat. Chat, no, we're not ready for that card yet. Oh my god, stop, stop. This is going to be amazing. That's that card's going to be worth worth ten dollars. Atticus, Haldian student. We got Wochain EX. Uh, who? So, I think. This is this set's secret rares. Is this a legendary? This is the legendary Pokemon. But yeah, it's um blue and, and gold. It's really way better looking in real life than it is on camera. It looks mostly centered. That's a $45 card. Wait, really? I see $8, I see $45. It's eight dollars. It's forty-five dollars. It's eight dollars. I'm not selling it anyway, but I guess it's it's a secret rare, so that's something. Wow. Okay. Well, that's. I guess that's fun. I don't know if I even should we just stop there with the Pokemon cards? Because are we going to top that? The, ask the price master how much it's worth. He said forty-five thousand. Here we'll we'll do um, one more of these for now. Charmander, rare candy, lantern, Oinkalone, Clive. I remember him. He's a normal student. Pikachu. Grappleock. And Mastiff, Ma, uh, Mabostiff. Nothing of worth. But, you know, it's fun. Let's do Ultraman cards. Here's what the packs look like. Battle Spirits, Ultraman. I haven't really seen Ultraman stuff, but I like Ultraman's design. I saw Ultraman at Comic-Con. The real Ultraman. I know who, I know who Ultraman is. So it's these kinds of cards again, with this stuff going on here. They're shiny. Hmm. It looks the same as the Godzilla stuff. Yeah, it's the same uh, Battle Spirits. It's the same kind of thing. It's in the same universe. I'm, I'm sure it's like compatible. I would imagine if it's a TCG, then these also work. And you can... Um, have Ultraman fight Godzilla. So cool. <laughs> Ultraman thank you. I don't know what that is. I'm hoping to get another textured amazing card. 
but yeah, I don't know who a lot of these things are, but I like, again, the cards are really, really well done, and the art is superb. So, other than that, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to get out of these. <laughs> so, I'll just say yes, the art is superb, and Ultraman looks key. Is that an Ultraman? Who's this? Geronimon? Why aren't you reading these cards? Heh. <laughs> Pincer attack. This thing probably has. I'm sorry. What? What is this? That one is Robert from '70s. Least weird Ultraman villain. Yeah, seriously. Okay, we got no particularly rare Ultraman cards, but I'm happy we got that weirdo villain. That, that's a good one. So, I think that's it for the cards that Brute Tigrex sent. Thank you for sending those. I appreciate them very much. Those were fun. I do have some other stuff. Before we do the last remaining Vine Sauce cards. This was open. Top Trump's war card game? Moshi Monsters. What do you mean? So, yeah, it's just open. I don't think I've opened these on stream, though. Mini Ben? Ultra Rare? Have you got it? It's just advertising all of its other stuff. Humphrey. A mobile game? Yeah, kind of. Okay. Is it? No, is it? It looks like a, um, like a Flash cartoon. Doris. Lady Goo Goo. Okay. And Roxy? Got a ton of ultra rare cards, so clearly I'm doing very well, but if every card is ultra rare, then nothing is ultra rare. Beanie Baby? Vinny, you just activated my Google. <laughs> I, listen, I didn't... I said Goo Goo. Uh, Beanie Baby stickers. Peel them, stick them, trade them. This is all about... Like, Beanie Babies are the definition of, like, false scarcity. Like, artificial scarcity. And, like, prices being jacked up and scalpers. Like, this is the essence of this kind of thing. So... I've opened, I think, a couple packs of these, but, um... Take a look at that texture, huh? Because... They're actually textured cards. These are very, very thick cards, by the way. Narnook. Wow. The back of the cards look a little weird because of the the imprint. Lady Goo Goo card is actually rare because they discontinued it due to a lawsuit. Apparently in regards to that Lady Goo Goo card, she was removed because the Lady Gaga suing Mind Candy in 2011 over the Moshi Dance song. Huh. I'm rich. Nuts. <laughs> I'm rich nuts. Got quackers. Got quackers. I'm happy. I got my duck. That's all I needed. Snort. Peace. 
the tie-dye bear. I'm gonna find out one day that a card I opened during card sauce that we had no idea about was worth like $10,000. I don't know which one. Could be this one. Could be that one. Could be Lady Goo Goo. Could be Tony Soprano. Peep the YouTube in 24 hours. Yeah, you're not wrong. Chad, it wouldn't be card sauce without something Star Trek related. I have to do a Star Trek thing. Hang on. Always. Sky Vision 3D collector's cards. In a fucking transparent pack. It's just... Like, basic... Just plastic. It's not anything special. And nothing fancy. So, Sky Vision. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, so here's the problem. I don't have that. Wait, how do these cards even work? I think it's those two small images on the bottom there. Which, also, I just got a double. It's the Enterprise D. Just cross your eyes. Okay. It hurts. Yeah, it works if you cross your eyes. It's inverted. It's inverse, but it's, um... It, it, yep, no, don't do that. Klingon attack cruiser. Cardassian Galar warship. Yeah, this is, this doesn't work as well as they think it works. Because you're actually only seeing a very, very tiny image. And it's such a small percentage of the card. I mean, obviously I don't have the glasses, so I couldn't tell you how well it really worked. But just to me, that that's like, I want my money back. I'll, I'll, I'll get my money back somehow. Webkins. Sticker card and feature code card in every pack. Okay, get your Webkins ready because first come, first serve, whoever gets the code gets the Webkin in real life in, in their game. So, uh... Wow. That's kind of appropriate. So that was the first card. It's, um, an actual Valentine's Day card. <laughs> Holy shit. I don't know where the code is supposed to be. Having fun in Webkin's world creativity class. That's nice. Rhino. Newest arrivals. If there's a code, I don't know if the code's in the bottom right. I don't know where the code is, but. Oh, no, never mind. There is a code card. Okay. Have fun in Webkin's world. Do a job. To win wacky bingos, you need to. Oh, you need to. Um, get a full row of numbers. I knew that. Some stickers. And, okay, get ready. For those who out there are still webkinning, here, we, here you go. I don't know if that says Yaki, Y-O-K-Y, or it says Y-C-K-Y, Yuki. I don't know what it says, but have fun with it. I hope you got that card. And hope you got them webkins because that is going to be worth a lot of money in the near future. Webkins are the next big thing. They're going to get artificially inflated. Type webkins inflation if you want to learn 
you know, you got me doing that chat. Awesome all-stars. So these creatures look particularly scummy again. And, uh, oh. Alright, the first card. Ha, huh, look at that, how cool is that? Speedy Ed. There he is. There he is, Speedy Ed. Anyone want some gum? David the Dominator. David was born in a small town on a small planet somewhere. Very specific. There he played in minor leagues until he was discovered by the Awesome Scout. Opposing teams fear his ability to dominate them. Again, very specific. World building. Hot Breath Henry. Nethead Nelson. Nelson has the most unique way of catching pop flies. A tremendous asset to the team. He truly lives baseball. Loves peanut butter and jelly sandwiches made with mayonnaise. Worst cards. Stewart the Steeler. Stewart set a record for stealing bases his first year in the big leagues. He stole so many bases that he had to move because his apartment was full. No one knows what he does with the bases he steals. <laughs> Top tier writing and just art and cards in general. My God. All right. We got three. I think it's just three more Paula Deen fights cards. So we're going to open them. Get that butter on there. Butter. Butter. Whooper. Tandemouse. Mankey. Flittle. Mousehold. Uh, that, there we go, I got the mouse and the double mouse. And the, the quadruple mouse, rather. Two mouse, four mouse. Iono. Kilowattrel. Mimikyu. Mimic ye, me, mimic you. Zatu again. And that's it. And energy. These seem to be energy cards, Mega Man. Vinny Iono is rare? That's fine. She listen. She's rare, that's cool, but she's not glowing. Hand to mouse. Bar. Bok. Numel. Maractus. Prime Ape. Ultra Ball. Mouse Hold. Pelipper. We got a shiny. So it's a shiny Pelipper there. That's nice. Good card. Bampy and Reverum. So, <clears throat> I wonder if I've made my money back. <laughs> I like to do that. Sometimes I calculate. Did I get enough cards that are good that I could theoretically sell that I'm not going to? That I can actually, you know, say that I, I'm up. Pikachu. Grievard. Chinchow. Wubat. Clive again. Clive Nobunga. Oh, I saw a decent card in the back there, I think. Kirlia. Technical Machine Crisis Punch. Squawkabilly EX. Boy, they really want me to have Squawkabillies. Is that a full art shiny? Yeah, it's a full art shiny. That's that's good, chat. That's a very good card. It's not Pikachu, but it'll you know it'll do. Gimme ghoul. Ow. And Raichu. 
So yeah. That's like three dollars. Good for me. I don't know if it was worth it to buy an ETB just for this segment, but you know what? <laughs> I enjoyed! It wasn't like I got my first, when I got my first ETB and did my <laughs> first cards toss. And, um... And, uh... Got really addicted because I got that Lapras. That Lapras was the death of, of me for a while. I was like, I got the Lapras and I saw how shiny it was. And then I had no choice but to buy Pokemon cards for like a year after that. It was awful. It was a really, really weird time. So here, here's the good ones. Pelipper, Squawk Ability, Wochin X, Squawk Ability again. Here's, oh, right, this, this isn't just Pokemon. Lara Croft, Pawn Me, Paw, or Paw Me, and, um, or a choreo. So you know what? Not a terrible ETB, all things considered. Especially that Lara Croft card. She's my favorite Pokemon. Chat, it may be time to do the last of the Vine Sauce cards. I think I was supposed to open this pack first. Anyway, if you just got here, at the beginning of the stream, I did packs one and two, but I was distracted by my camera and technical problems, so sorry if that kind of took the wind out of it a little bit. Um, I'm just going to show the cards and not worry about the camera now. So, here we go. Dedication. When Vinny plays with balls, he is dedicated. <laughs> Uwag. Non-standard Simpson. It's against the rules. <laughs> We were just talking about this, like, 15 minutes ago. Jesus. That's great. Cursed Baby. Rubber ducks, collect them all. If you collect enough of them, you'll be on the news. Sonic, zip zoom, motherfucker. <laughs> so I clip through the wall. That's wonderful. You are rusticated. You, you went too far this time. Wow. Rotten womb. Really? I retired rotten womb. I retired it. Sure, the website still exists. What is this art? Did you make this? What the fuck is this art? Where'd you get it from? I hate it. Mail day. Dear Mario. I mean, dear Mario. And there's credit to the uh, YouTuber. Hobo guy cool at the bottom there. Reverb fart. It's on. Listen, it's on my soundboard, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to get it. Classic Japes. Active World Incident. Are you lost? It's a wonderful memory. Delta Rune. Is it Dulto Rune? Retro Stew, why are you doing this? <laughs> Doodle Dip. Man, again, I so much of this is on my soundboard. It's, it's just in an awkward spot while I'm doing my card sauce stuff. Is the problem. Where is the doodle dip anyway? I had it here somewhere. Huh. I don't think it's on here anymore. Where'd it go? Let's just wait a sec while all that funny stuff is moving. I know there's a doodle dip on here somewhere, but... Doodle dip. Family Guy Vinny. Hello, Peter. <laughs> um, Barv Boy. Play classic bit plague games. Barv Boy. Grandad? No, no, no. Barv Boy? Pokechu? Liminal Man. 
No one knows its existence. It, it hasn't even been created properly. It's true. That's the. I think that's the first Liminal Man. Rev, third most popular streamer on Vine Sauce. I. There's there's so much I could say about this right now. About. <laughs> I'm just gonna let it go, but. The ranking of the streamer popularity probably doesn't feel good for anyone. But, yeah, they're, you know, that's fair. People, listen, people to this day still think that Jerma is a member of Vine Sauce, and same for Mike. There is, there is not really, a, I, at this point, we've opened it up. There's Vine Sauce Satan, Vine Sauce Bob, Vine Sauce David, Vine Sauce Nortz. Everyone's a Vine Sauce member. That's where I'm at with it right now. I'm just like, everyone is Vine Sauce. Vine Sauce Kremrold, Vine Sauce Melpert. Chat is, everyone in the chat is Vine Sauce, Vine, uh, chat members. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't care anymore. You, you guys, uh, the application form will be online in a week. Uh, gold play button. YouTube would be proud, I guess. You, you chat, you're all in Vine-ted. So you can put Vine Sauce in your videos? Absolutely. No, I'd prefer if you didn't. Uh, randomizer. The RNG seems good to me. Ten arrows. Someone said, how can I leave Vine Sauce? Oh, in order to do that, you have to opt out. So in order to do that, you gotta go to the website, fill out the form, and then solve the captures, and then call the number and enter your social security and your credit card with the three wacky digits on the back. Then you have to mail it in once you're all filled out, okay? Cursed Germa, the face of a deranged man. Mr. Dink. Yeah, just like that, Douglas. <laughs> power glitch, the power to instantly break any game. Nort, famous extraterrestrial sidekick. I wonder how you even got these made. And one day I'm gonna have to find out how these were made because this is this is really cool. Excellent card so far. I'm really, really impressed by all this work. And uh, the amount of like there's deep cut references, there's recent references, there's references to Germa. Very deep cut, Germa. <laughs> Alright, we have two more packs of these, so... Speed Strat. Chat, let's say 20.3. <laughs> Fecal Funny, it's a sin. Let's not forget this man is nearly 40 years old. <laughs> Power Renovation. Work of art. House flipper. Skibbity toilet. And skibbity to you too, my dear. I'm really not pleased about skibbity toilet being in, in the card selection. Especially considering how far they're going out of their way to like burn every bit of goodwill. Uh, pipe sound. I know, listen chat. I'm gonna play the pipe sound, so get ready for it, okay? Alright, cool. DMC2. Please play DMC2 Beanie and Best in Game, don't they good? Classic bit. What do you mean? What? What do you mean, chat? Classic bit diaper chief. Oh, God. Snake, are you familiar with the diaper chief bit from Vinnie Vine Sauce? I don't know if it's a classic bit. move the lighting a little bit so see if we can get that cursed mario bim bam yahoo okie dokie clown pizza all in one meal <laughs> you never know when you're gonna come across a clown pizza pac-man incident is that pac-man Vine sauce guy. Wait, I thought Joel and Vinny were the same person. Still to this day happens. I guarantee you there's at least five chat members that are like, what do you mean they're not the same person? 
impressions power impressions do Seth Rogen let's go check it out sin clussy really do we need that mm -hmm. I, can I show this I don't even fucking know can I show the clussy Character Watto. Lenny! I'm done with Lenny! <laughs> Streamer Lime. Easily scared VTuber. <laughs> That's cool. Object Tubby Custard. I fucking love it. I hate them. I hate them so much. Character Dead Vinny. Oh no, Benny. What must I do? Sin. Robertson's. What do we have here? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm vetting the cards in case there's Clussy. Or something from the video that got me banned. But, um... So yeah, this is uh, from Astral Chain. There's a clip on my Twitch Clips channel that for some reason is massive. I don't know why it's massive, but it's just me reacting to Robertson's. So that might be it. Cursed Nort. He is just smiling. Character chat. The one and only entity. There's only one chat member. Chat is all one homunculus <coughs> Granfaloon. Classic bit. Spin! Do the bit, Vinny. It's also really, really good. And we have, unfortunately, only one more pack. Okay, one more pack. Here we go. Character, Isaac Kleiner. Well, Gordon, I see your HEV suit still fits you like a glove. Sin, sex education. Hey, Mario, did you ever wonder where babies come from? Is it the spaghetti noodle? Bungie the frog. Shut up. Gollum. Triple A game. I mean, that's that's another very recent one, but you know what? That has become... That Gollum shit has become quite classic at this point, I feel. Reverse reverb fart. Do you hear something, chat? Places. Hell before you die. Oh no, Mario! <laughs> Classic bit, Kapusi. Kapusi, please! <laughs> Power, self suck. Did you know, Vinny? God damn it. Hang on. You got another one. Where is it? Oh. Oh, the, the file isn't working. All right. Daksu, such magnificent creatures. Every week you see them swim and you cry. For only Dakus can truly perceive reality. Glorious Daksu. So the, the file is unfortunately not there on the soundboard at the moment. Mortis. Dummy Vinny. Uncanny Valley. Jabroni Mike. Banned from every mall. See, I told you, people just make up Vine Sauce members at this point. But Mike is my friend for 20 years, so... There he is. 
And he is banned from... Listen, I'm aware of Mike getting banned from a mall that I grew up going to. And by proxy, I'm also banned, unfortunately. They banned me, too. He's the one on the left. Yeah, Mike is the one on the left. The dude on the right is a fan of his. That's little Timmy. He was at the convention. Classic bit Zelda 2 Thanksgiving feast. Permanent spin damage. I think that should... <laughs> well, it should say spine, but... It spin also works in a way. Don't worry, chat. Uh, the print uh, pr second edition will fix that. Permanent, permanent, permanent spine damage. This misprint is gonna be worth a lot of money one day. Liminal Mall, cool place. Was that? Wait a minute. Oh, that was um, the Generation Lost Mall. That's my picture. Joel, Swedish sh uh, sweets. Red Vox Vinny, famous indie musician. You, really, that picture we're going with? We're going to use that one? All right. I see how it is. Cursed Mr. Dink. Douglas. Red Vox Vinny is a separate entity. Chat. Uh, purple Teletubby. I'm the purple one, and I do what I want. Hello, everyone. This is running, uh, tubbing on empty. Food review. Vinny. Funny Italian guy. That's another picture that's used a lot. I don't- I still don't know why I was looking at things like that. Yeah, I don't know. And Scoot. Little fella. So there you go, that's- that's it. Yeah, that's- that's some good stuff, Retro Stew. You did a good job with these. Um... I know chat's going to be asking if they can buy them. I, I have a feeling that's already been asked a couple times, but keep in mind, I don't know how you can sell stuff that involves, let's say, um, like, like how legal is it to sell a Danny DeVito card without his permission from the TV show, the hit television show, Always Sunny in Philadelphia? You know, just, just as an example. Or like, you know, famous streamer Jerma in front of a bunch of garbage. Like, can you know what I mean? So I don't know, chat. You know this won't fly. You, you, you know it won't fly. So unfortunately, um, I don't think, I don't think that's possible. I, I mean, I'd have to check. But two more cards I can do a sound effect for, and then we'll wrap this up. So the first one being this. So that I can very, very easily get you some accompanying sound effects. And the other one. Who wireless? Who wireless? Who wireless? Who wireless? So this may have been one of my favorite card sauces. Really, I mean, we got to see some custom cards. We got uh, really good, weird fucking packs. Um, there was even, like, an accidental Vi Valentine's Day crossover. There was, uh... I got a rare Pokemon card. There was some trash. There was, like, dust gum powder. And non-standard Simpsons. 
However, I forgot one thing. The Chrono Trigger Pack. So, we can end on a high note because I almost don't want to open this, but I'm, I'm going to. Considering I'm playing Chrono Trigger at the moment, this is like a perfect crossover. And I do have a number of Chrono Trigger cards, so again, I'm going to find out. These may be the same ones. But, uh, yeah, they are, actually. They are. But I love them nonetheless. I didn't have Luca. Let's see. So we got... This is official art, but you can hardly kind of see it. This is them sneaking through the sewers. And you have Frog, Robo, and there's Sir Crawley. There's the rats. It's Chrono. So it shows you some stuff. You got Robo. But on the back, it's a screenshot without Robo in it. These are so reflective, they don't even show up well. On the, I mean, even in real life, I can barely see what I'm looking at here. Holy shit. Um, but it's it's a nighttime thing with Chrono and Marl. Here's Chrono card. That's a cool one. I have this one. These were pre-order bonuses for the Japanese version. Well, I love them. Unfortunately, I don't have Luca. I have... So some of these are new. Some of the, the art cards are new. I don't have those. But um, the kind chat member that sent me the other ones... So these are new for me. It was every character except Luca. So the fact that you found an unopened pack, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that, by the way. But I do love these very much, and one day maybe I'll find Luca. So, yeah, this is that's great. That's a really cool pack. Let's not forget... GOT! <laughs> Chat, that's card sauce. I don't know how we're going to top this one, but if anyone has any particularly amazing packs of cards, vinesauce.email, you can go there and you can um, fill out the form, let me know, and maybe there will be a card sauce featuring your cards. I like to usually wait until I have a sufficiently decent collection of cards. Because otherwise, it's just going to be the same Gremlins and X-Files and Star Trek cards every time. Which is fun, but this time we had some of the more unique ones. And as a result of that, I thought it was really good. So yeah, let me know if you find anything weird like those terrorist cards. Not specifically those, but uh, be sure to get in touch. I have to do a little bit of cleanup here and then get RimWorld going. So, thank you. Um... Retro Stew, Brute Tigrex, thank you, chat. And I will be back in five minutes or so with RimWorld. So stick around. I may have to play two songs. <laughs>